Hello and welcome to Bud's Smart Home. I'm coming to you with yet another Smart Things update. I opened my app today and I saw that there was an update available. And what I thought was the new delay feature that I presented in the previous video, there's actually an update to that. And there's a, an actual bonafide uh, delay feature in this app. There is also a creation assistant. So if you're adding a new routine, You'll see at the bottom, it says Routine Creation Assistant. So we'll go over that quickly. And then there is another function that I'm very excited about. And that is the fact that you can set a routine to confirm that you want the routine to proceed before it actually executes. And if you don't do it within a certain amount of time, then it doesn't execute at all. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm in the routines tab, as you can see at the bottom there. I'm gonna hit plus to add a routine. Let's look at that routine creation assistant to begin with. So looking at that, what I found interesting about this is that it's using devices in my smart home to recommend uh, specific routines. I have some virtual switches. I put a v-edge prefix on the front of those virtual switches and it's using a couple of those virtual switches to suggest routines one that was uh, also surprising is it found my samsung q70 series 65 inch tv in our family room and it's recommending a routine to turn it off at a certain time on on weekends so that's pretty cool then if you look at the very bottom it asks you to enter what you want to automate so if i would enter something in there garage opener and then hit the uh, enter button it analyzes that and it's creating a routine now this isn't all that sophisticated so it suggests that i can use the garage door opener to trigger a routine or I can take an action on the garage door open light, turn it on, and then you simply hit create routine. So I'm gonna back out of that, hit cancel. Okay, another feature that I saw that I didn't see mentioned in any of the literature was a way to save a routine as a draft. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a routine and I'm gonna add the trigger, which I'm gonna, do like we did previously I'm going to use that kitchen door and the contact sensor being open we'll hit done and done now um, if I hit cancel at this point notice that it says it gives me the option to cancel or also to to hit draft if I hit draft it allows you to name the draft let's go ahead and call it kitchen routine draft and we'll hit save all right, so now uh, what kind of threw me at first, I couldn't figure out where to find this draft. I didn't see any folders or categories for the draft. If you hit the three dots at the top, you're gonna see save draft routines at the bottom of that drop-down list. So if you click on that, you'll see that kitchen routine draft. So let's go back in there and I'm gonna show you the delay feature that they've added to the app. Now, I guess this was available on the Android devices in the last release, but it didn't become available to the iOS users until this current release. So we've got the trigger being the contact sensor being opened on the kitchen door. Then if you remember that previous video that I made, uh, we controlled devices and I wanna control all three of these devices the kitchen light, the sink light, and the hall light, but I want to delay in between the triggering of the kitchen light and then the sink light five seconds later and the hall light additional five seconds later. So we're going to put delays in between of there. So if we hit next, it populates with um, all of those devices and it's turning them on. But again, I want to add delays in between the first action and the second action. So let's go ahead and add an action. And we're going to add a delay and I just want five seconds and we'll hit done. So there's the delay. Now here's the cool thing. You can move that up in between the first and second action. And let's go ahead and add another delay. So delay, let's make it five seconds done. And again, we can move that up in between, save that. We can change the name here kitchen routine we'll call it test okay and then 
make sure you assign a category in this step. If you set up categories, this is a, a real easy way to assign your categories. And I do have a testing category, so I'm going to ahead and put that in there. So then we'll save it. Now let's see if it's in our testing category. Yes, kitchen routine test, there it is. And I'm going to disable that because I actually don't want that to work, but you can disable it down at the bottom. And uh, we're going to then cancel out of there. So that, that routine is disabled, but that's how you use the delay feature, which is really nice. And it's also nice that you can reorder those actions uh, in the routine process. Now, the one that I'm very excited about is uh, the confirmation that you want a routine to execute. Now, where this is handy, at least for me, I have a garage routine that I use it in. So if the garage is opened at night, um, I have a precondition. I have two garage opener on arrival time frames. So I have a daytime and a nighttime. So the nighttime I've set from 10.01 p.m. to 6.59 a.m. the next day. If the garage tilt sensor is closed and someone arrives, then I want to open the garage door, but I want to have that ex the execution of that routine confirmed by user response before the door opens. And I have five minutes to do that. And if that doesn't happen, then the garage door will not turn on. So let's show you how to set this up. So I'm gonna add a routine and our trigger is going to be any when anyone arrives at home. So we're using member location. We're selecting every time anyone arrives and hit done. Then what we wanna do is select notify someone. So in the notify someone, you see you can send a notification to members and send text a text message. Those options were there before. If you have a smart home speaker that's compatible with uh, smart things, you could play a message on a speaker. And the last one is the new action to confirm to run actions. You would send recipient notifications. I'm going to select myself in the list, hit done. And you can set the number of minute, minutes to cancel the execution. I'm going to leave it at the default for five action name. We're going to call this uh, open garage door confirmation and hit done. And then if the confirmation is received, then we want to control devices and we go way down here to my garage door opener next. And we're going to turn it on. So what this does is anytime someone arrives and if it's after 10.01 p.m. between the hours of 10.01 and 6.59 the next morning, then rather than automatically open the garage door, uh, I would have to confirm that I wanna run that action. I'll get a notice on my phone. And if I confirm that, then the garage door will open. If I don't confirm it and more than five minutes uh, goes by, then the action will not execute so i already have this routine in here so i'm going to cancel if i cancel you see here i have the option to save it as a draft or i can say cancel go which takes me back to the routine for editing or if i hit ok it literally cancels that routine doesn't save it as a draft so those are pretty cool features i thought i'd get another follow-up video out to you so that uh, you would be up to date on the latest features. Really nice enhancements to the SmartThings app, so I'm excited to see these kind of changes coming through. Let me know how you might use these new features in your smart home setup, and be sure to give this video a like if it helped you out, and we'll see you in the next one.